question do i really need to be saved there are so many misconceptions about man's need for god and salvation and it is very important to understand the truth about this issue because the most important decision a person will ever make is the decision to accept or reject jesus christ as savior now may God grant us wisdom to understand the truth about His nature so that you will respond to Him with repentance and faith. Now question, isn't man basically good? The Bible says, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is no one that understands, there is no one that seeks after God, for all have sinned and come short the glory of God every person you me everyone is a sinner by birth and also by choice in the beginning Adam and Eve the first man and woman disobeyed God and it was very simple actually don't eat this specific fruit you know the story but they failed and they were the representatives of the whole human race And if we were in their position, we would do the same thing. And every person since then has made the same choice to go his own way. Even though a person may do many good things, he cannot deny that he is also chosen to do evil. The human heart is inherently and basically selfish, and it greedily seeks to satisfy its own needs without caring for the needs of others. Question, won't the good Lord just overlook my faults if I do many good things? God is righteous and He will not excuse or overlook sin. The penalty for sin, any sin, is eternal separation from Him. The Bible says, For whoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. For the wages of sin or the payment of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You see, God required a sacrifice to pay for our redemption from eternal separation from God. But the price was so great that no man can pay it but God's own Son, Jesus Christ suffered a scandalous and painful death to save us from a future of darkness. Only Jesus Christ's sacrifice makes our salvation possible. Question, if I try to do my best, won't God let me into heaven? God is holy and God cannot live together with sin. You see, No man can achieve the standard of perfection that God requires. Only the sinless sacrifice of Jesus Christ can save us. Question, does God really love me? God demonstrated His love for us by sending His Son to pay for the penalty of our sin. And through Christ's agonizing death, on the cross and his glorious resurrection and victory over death we see how deep and wide and great is God's love for us the Bible says and this is probably the most famous verse of all for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life For God sent His Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but the world through Him might be saved. Question. I can't trust God because of my life experiences. Don't I just need to have faith in myself? Salvation comes only by believing in Christ and His finished work on the cross. Faith in ourselves alone won't take us very far. The Bible says that he who trusts in his own heart is a fool. Yes, that's in the Bible. And also, growing up in a Christian home or having Christian friends does not automatically mean that you are saved. 
doesn't mean that you're a Christian. Even if you were born inside the church, it doesn't mean you're already saved. Only when you believe in Christ do you become a Christian. Question, can I really know that I am going to heaven when I die? Those who place their faith in Jesus Christ will find many promises in God's Word that speak of their eternal destiny. So yes, you can be confident that you will go to heaven when you die. So let's summarize. You and I were all sinners. The penalty for our sins is eternal separation from God. No man can earn his way into heaven by his own virtue or goodness or good works. God loves you and has provided salvation for you through His Son, Jesus Christ. God sent Jesus to pay the penalty for your sin so that you can be forgiven of your sin. And as you receive Jesus' gift of salvation and put your faith in Him, God will save you. But remember, this is a gift. You can accept it or you can decline it. As a child of God, you are guaranteed that you will go to heaven when you die. So if you're listening right now and you feel something in your heart, accepting this gift of salvation is quite simple. Admit that you're a sinner. You believe that Jesus is God's son and that he died for you. And then you confess that Jesus is the Lord of your life and commit to serving him. And if you are ready to receive this gift, and if you're ready to surrender your life and future to God, then you can say this simple prayer with me. Say this, Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe that you died for my sins and that you rose from the dead. I turn my back on my sins and I ask you to come into my heart and into my life. I surrender my life to you and now starting today, I want to trust you and follow you as my Lord, my Savior, and my King. Amen. If you said that simple prayer with me and if you accepted Jesus Christ into your life honestly and wholeheartedly, congratulations, your future is secured. And if you want to know what the next steps are in this new life, in this new journey, you can text or call this number or you can also comment down below Jesus loves me and we will contact you. Thank you for your time and God bless.